So how do we manage abdominal trauma? And, and when do you need to seek help? And what kind of things to be worried about with abdominal trauma? In contact, the main abdominal trauma you're gonna see in, in sports medicine is in contact sports. Not that much different than what you see in automobile accidents. And there's been kind of a, a, a highly technical ability to change in technology to manage abdominal trauma in the emergency department. But the question is, when do you need to see the emergency physician or something like that? Significant enough abdominal trauma to the abdomen to cause you to pass out, you probably should be seen in an emergency department probably very soon, almost urgently, if not immediately. So enough trauma to cause something like that. Enough trauma to cause significant bruising on the abdomen uh, would be a time that you really need to be seen by a physician pretty uh, uh, fast. Uh, other warning signs, if, if a day later or the next day, uh, dizziness, uh, wooziness, any indication that you're having a, a drop in your blood pressure would be a time to urgently see a, a physician. Um, what kind of things can happen? You worry with abdominal trauma that you've damaged your internal organs in the vulnerable area um, would be the, mainly the abdomen. You certainly can have enough trauma to the chest um, uh, to be a problem, but the abdomen is, is not protected by a hard skeleton. Um, so the organs that are vulnerable are things like your, your spleen, your liver, and your kidney. Even your bladder can actually be in, in, involved with that too. Um, and we used to see, and in, in when, when they used to use helmets in football for spearing, we'd see ruptured spleens on a regular basis. So it takes a significant amount of abdominal trauma to damage or crack or even fracture an internal abdominal organ, but it can happen with uh, contact sports. Um, Delayed things to watch for, blood in your urine would obviously be a problem, dizziness, feel like you're gonna pass out or faint the next few days, problems with your blood pressure, or low blood pressure would, wouldn't be expected otherwise, or urgently if that happens right on the scene at the time of the uh, contact sport, typically someone on the sidelines or someone um, in the stands, um, specifically the coach and our trainer will have observed the, the nature of the trauma and they are usually very good about assessing right at, at the time and uh, right after the moment of the injury um, um, the vital organs by exam. There's a lot of things you can do by just examining the belly. Anytime the abdomen becomes hard or rigid um, or there's significant pain in the area that you're examining, we would worry about that, that you have, have damaged one of those organs and that would probably be a time that you need to be seen uh, emergently in an emergency department or in a, a doctor's office. But, but not to forget the delayed symptoms, blood in your urine, um, feeling like you're going to pass out, not able to eat, so significant nausea, vomiting, um, after abdominal trauma, you could have injured some of your internal organs, that would be the time to seek uh, medical care. And that's our summary of uh, abdominal trauma.